One of my favorite set of irons ever are these, the Wilson V6. And in fact, I've had my only ever holding one with this exact seven iron. Now, I love it, everything about it, the shaping, how it feels, the flight, the performance, everything I get from it. And sometimes I question why I even swapped from these clubs, but I must admit, I just like new stuff. But this iron is just everything I want from an iron. It's absolutely awesome. Now, Wilson over the last couple of years have not replaced these irons until now. That wasn't a bad little opening shot. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Don't do the good. They've not replaced V6 at all. Well, now they have brought out a replacement set of irons. Okay, so what are these irons? The Wilson Staff Model CB. Wow, they look unbelievable. Many little features and, and almost subtle resemblances of the V6 that I love so much, but very different also. Now I've got a full set here. I've got actually two iron down to gap wedge, which I'm gonna take out on the golf course later today. But first I thought I'd hit him on the, in the indoor simulator here at home and get some numbers on GC Quad and just get a first impression. So what's new with the CB iron? Well, a couple of things. First off, they've introduced tungsten weighting in the toe from seven iron up to the longer irons. They're also using this tri-brace stabilizer across the bat for more stability which Wilson are saying that this iron's gonna be more stable than the V6. But I've got to be honest, the V6 wasn't broken, so you don't want to change it too much. Cosmetic wise, I, honestly, I think that's such a good looking iron. I think it's so clean. It's kind of modern with a little bit of tradition behind it as well. Looks wise, I've got the V6 here on my other hand. It's so similar looking behind on the ground, kind of behind the golf ball. Like, it's so unbelievable some of it in shaping. Let's hit a few with the seven iron and then work. I might hit seven iron, long iron, then hit a few wedges as well and get some moves on GC quad, so before taking them out on the golf course. Now, price-wise, these are £849 for seven irons. Now, for competitor irons, you're normally looking for around about £1,000. So, Wilson coming in at this slightly lower price point, might be a smart move because they've not got maybe that sex appeal like a TaylorMade or a Callaway iron have. So that might be the USP that they can come in a little bit cheaper. Either way, I think they look great. Right, let's hit some shots. Seven iron first. It is a gorgeous looking iron. Loft wise, very traditional. Seven iron is 34 degrees of loft. So I don't expect this to go a million miles. Neither do I really want it to. That. Awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh my. Wow. Oh my goodness. First shot with the CV. I can't actually believe that. I was literally perfect. Carry 166, spin rate about 6,000 RPM. Who cares? It was un unbelievably close. Do I need to hear any more? Is that the review done? That was honestly unbelievable. So a few more. That looks nice as well. So for me, seven irons are carrying around about 168 yards on average, spinning just around 6,000 RPM. Everything I want from a seven iron. Right, let's hit, well, let's hit four iron next. So the good news, all the numbers are where they should be. With the seven iron, the four iron, and the pitching wedge, very impressed. The second bit of good news, feel is phenomenal. Very much, I mean, it feels exactly the same as hitting my v, the V6 irons I had in the bag for so long. Beautiful. And also, this is the first irons I've tested in my new renovated 
Home Simulator. Guys, if you want to see a new tour, and also me to tell you about the pros and cons of having a home setup, a home simulator, leave a like on this video and I might get one film coming very soon. Now, all that being said, let's get to the golf course. I want to test these irons a little bit more. I mean, it's a shame I've only just really swapped my new set of irons in the bag, but could these be my next set of irons? Let's get to the course. Now, one thing that I'm quite excited to hit is this, the two iron. This is the Wilson Staff Model CB two iron. Let's start things off with hitting a few of these, which might be quite daunting before then I play some more holes with this full set of Wilson irons. Okay, first shot. Now it's not the scariest looking two iron, but either way, hitting a two iron for the first shot always is a little bit daunting. Not bad. Not in the middle of the club face, but the result's pretty good. I enjoyed that, so a few more. Okay, so that's the hardest club to hit out of the way, and it wasn't too bad. Let's play some more holes. wouldn't be a Rick Shields iron video if I wasn't trying to get a hole in one. So let's see how close I can stick it. So granted, not my best strike, but I have a two putt par from there. Get up, get up, get up. So I really feel like I've given these irons an in-depth review. Starting at home in the simulator to coming here on the golf course, for me, these irons tick every box. They look phenomenal, they feel superb. Everything that I'm looking for for a set of irons, these deliver. From the ball flight, being able to hit this kind of draw, fade, high and low on demand, even just playing the little delicate shots around the greens, little bump and runs with eight irons or pitching wedges. The touch and feel is perfect. And even the two iron, like it's not too scary. I could actually play that. And for me, I could easily put these irons in the bag. I've had two sets of Wilson irons before and I really like these. I think they're gorgeous. So they got me thinking a little bit more. Why do I not see Wilson irons, certainly the staff model irons in more golfers bags? It just doesn't, they don't feel like they've got that kind of pulling power, that sex appeal, so to speak, like other brands will have. Is that down to the marketing? Is it down to the standard of player that they have using this set of irons? I'm not too sure, but for me, if you're a golfer of 12 handicap or below and you're looking for a set of irons, these aren't a bad choice whatsoever. I really like them and who knows, they may be my future set of irons. Time will tell. We'll see you next time.